Now, Arab and Muslim leaders gathered in Saudi Arabia for an extraordinary joint Islamic Arab summit in an attempt to exert its influence to press the United States and Israel to bring an immediate end to the bombings which have resulted in such horrific suffering for the people in the Gaza Strip. The Iranian president was also present and he has strongly condemned the Israeli bombardment of the Gazan enclave. In the latest, the Iranian president Ibrahim Raisi has called on the Arab and the Islamic world leaders to designate Israel's military as a terrorist organization. In his very first visit to Riyadh since Iran and Saudi Arabia agreed to restore their ties in the month of March, Ibrahim Raisi has urged nations that have ties with Israel to sever them and has called for greater support for the Palestinian people. The Iranian President Ibrahim has called for support from the Islamic nations, saying that Gaza is not an arena for words. It is time for nations to in fact act and bring about a concrete resolution to the bombings that are presently underway in the Gaza Strip. Maidan Diga Maidan is Sohanitanist. Now, echoing what the Iranian president said, the Syrian president Bashar al-Assad has called for countries to stop normalization talks with Israel. نسار السياسي من عناوين اقتصادية أو غيرها لتكون عودته مشروطة بالتزام الكيان بالوقف الفوري المديد لا المؤقت للإجرام بحق كل الفلسطينيين في كل فلسطين مع السماح بإدخال المساعدات الفورية إلى غزة أما الحديث عن الدولتين وإطلاق عملية السلام وغيرها من التفاصيل well, the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has also denounced the attacks on the Gaza Strip. He's reiterated his stance during the Riyadh summit, calling for an immediate end to the bombings of Gaza. Ahmad Rahim, Ashab al Fakhama, Kamal, Umin Had al Muntalak, Sirona, and Nadin, and the Clark Mubadar al Khadim Haram Sherifil, when Nadin, Mayshad al Qatar, Gaza, and the Dah, Askari, and the Dah, and the واستمرار انتهاكات سلطة الاحتلال الإسرائيلية القانون الدولي الإنساني لنؤكد ضرورة وقف هذه الحرب والتهجير القصري وتأهية الظروف لعودة الاستقرار وتحقيق السلام هي في أفريقيا وذلك عبر تجشيم مشروعات وبرامج مائية في دول القارة بقيمة تجاوز مليار دولار على مدى عشر سنة The joint meeting has been convened in response to the exceptional circumstances taking place in the Gaza Strip Earlier, two separate meetings were in fact scheduled over the weekend one of the Arab League and one of the OIC member nations and now it has been combined. The Arab nations are divided on normalizing ties with Israel and condemning the humanitarian crisis which has unfolded in the Gaza Strip. But to prepare for this extraordinary joint Arab-Muslim summit and as per reports the Arab foreign ministers who held an emergency meeting on Thursday were divided as some countries led by Algeria had called to cut off diplomatic ties with Israel altogether.